most memorable here was being in the lookout when it was wrapped. So we wrapped it, and this would have been in 2016. Okay. And so the wash fire was burning just across the cellway. It had, it was creeping along this side, kind of uh, strangely enough, just staying right at mid level and going west, which was unusual. So <clears throat> the smoke was really thick and everything was wrapped. Shutters were wrapped, ready to drop. Uh, the catwalk was that horrible, you know, Sorry. aluminum foil yeah. in that Sorry. bright, bright sun. And then, and then you couldn't see anything. So I had my escape route, which was to go down into the rocks down here. And, um, and I was actually looking forward to that rather than racing down the hill as as our friend Chris had to do on Indian Hill when she was mm -hmm. that same fire. Uh, they took her down with a um, Forest Service truck during the middle of that fire. So they were they were going down the road as trees were flaming and it was terrifying. So tell, tell her to ask her to tell you that yeah. story sometime. That particular fire was, um, yeah, it was just very, in a way, everything was closed off. There was nobody coming up the road, um, couldn't see anything, and I was just, oh, and I was doing weather for the crews so they could keep track of, you know, what the uh, humidity was and stuff. So, um, yeah, it was just getting hotter and drier, and I was kind of waiting to hear that sound of crackling uh, fire coming up, and then they said, no, you're going to go down. So... So we closed up shutters, and uh, then I headed down. But I said, well, how about if I go to Gardner? Because nobody was on Gardner then. And so um, I just packed my pack and drove around to Paradise and hiked up to Gardner and got to do the end of the season up there, which we had been on when, when our oldest was just turned one. So that was kind of a, a nice connection. And, and there was still a little mark on the wall. His <laughs> oh, house. that's fantastic. Because it hadn't been painted. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Nothing had been done on it. There was one time, actually, there's a picture of cool water on the um, Nez Perce Forest website uh, under fires. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, no, Nate was actually telling us about it. That the fire was <laughs> over here, right? Were you, were you here then? Yeah, I need no, to see that picture. Because yeah. Esther was here then. Yeah. She had just taken over for us. And... She was up here one day, yeah, and then that, <laughs> that fire took off, and so the picture of the uh, yeah on the Nesper uh, website on the, shows cool water with the smoke rising. Oh wow! So she was helicoptered out. Probably the most um, crazy time though was in would have been. Was 2015 the Kamei? Kamei. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that really. that when that storm came through, that was the most impressive and the most number of fires I've ever reported. Yeah. So it was flashing down by Pilot Nam, oh. and he's getting ready to evacuate. Um, and you know his line on the radio was, uh, "I got the motor running." <laughs> you know, it's like he's ready to go, and. Uh, and you could just see the smoke rising from every lightning strike. And then all the way across Kamei, um, there were fires. And then they started evacuating as as the fires grew up here, evacuating Hemlock. I think Waldy might not have been on. And then who else? I felt like I was in this donut. Wow. And so that was, that was pretty weird to be here that year. But... Uh, but it was, you know, for a lookout, it's fantastic to be able to see that many fires and 